Come on, your two hands are lifted. I breathe. None like you are God. Amen. 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 night you don't know what to preach and all that but the Lord gave me a, a very brief word to share with you and therefore I would like to read from uh, Luke chapter 21 from verse number 34 35 and 36 and then I will read I'm reading you three different scriptures then I can submit the revelation of God so it's amazing how um, we have uh, reduce the prophetic ministry. We think that the prophetic ministry is just calling somebody out and uh, disseminating details about the person. That is just one aspect of the prophetic ministry. What we are doing from the pulpit is prophetical. It comes from a prophetic content and credulity. Everybody in this place, whilst you are sitting in there between my mouth and your ears, God is prophetically disseminating something. Something is assimilating into your spirit prophetically. Something comes. What is prophetic? Prophetic. The prophetic is to bring the light of God into a dark situation. The prophetic is to bring a clear edification to uh, God's people. So prophetically this morning, the Lord is giving me a profound revelation. Look the 21st chapter, the, the 34th verse to the 36th verse. The Bible said, take heed to yourselves. It starts with a warning. Take heed to yourself, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life. So that day come upon you unawares. The Bible said in verse number 35, he began it with a very impressive submission. He said, for us a snare. The reason why he is telling you to watch is because of the snare. As a snare, he shall come upon all them that dwell upon the whole earth. Upon, dwell upon the, on the face of the whole earth. He started with watch. He started with take heed. Now he is continuing. It. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch. Take heed. Watch. Why? Because of the snare. There is a snare. Exodus chapter 34 verse 12 to verse 14. Exodus, the 34th chapter, the 12th to the 14th verse. The Bible said, take heed to yourself. Least thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where whither thou goest. Least it be a snare. A snare. Follow me. In the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars and break their images and cut down their groups. For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, whose name is jealous, is a jealous God. The last one. Micah. Micah chapter 7. Micah, the prophet, the seventh chapter. The first and second verses only. The Bible said, Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits and the grip, griplings of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat. My soul desire the first grip fruit. Now look at verse number two, very profound in its presentation. The good man is perished out of the earth. There is none upright among men. They all lie 
and wait for blood. They wait every man, his brother, with a net. This time, he has stepped down the snare to a net. It reminds me of that scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes where the Bible said, man does not know his time. They are caught in an evil net at the time when they do not expect. It catches. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we are born again. We are children of God. We have come into the house of God. The amazing thing is that when we become born again, Christ comes into our heart. The Holy Spirit fills our heart. The Bible said we should desire the, the milk of the word so that we might grow thereby. And so in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, when he began to disseminate that discourse, when somebody becomes a Christian and a child of God, you know, we desire that milk, that milk, you know, uh, but he, he puts it before the make he put it sincere not just milk sincere that word sincere will have synonymous words like honest truth truth is a commodity that is missing even in church if you get a proposal in church I urge you to subject it oh you know uh I am going to watch myself. I will be careful so that I can get another invitation back. Don't worry. I will keep it cool. I will. Don't, don't. The way you are staring at me, it makes me intimidated. But whichever way, we will push the word of the Lord anyhow. You know, uh, we, we will still push the word of God anyhow. Oh, it, it still has to come. You, you know, just like a syringe, when they put the medication in a syringe and they put a little cotton wool with some kind of disinfectant uh, just around uh, and push, push it. It is just like our mother's enema. They put it in the, the, the thing in it and then they, 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 they shake it up and then your mother says put the kuntu, kuntu no. and then your mother will put a little you know lubricant on the enema and then push it in within you. You can feel there is something coming up on you. Your mother will say jump around and then your mother will put a kruwaba next to you and your mother will say sit down it doesn't need laboratory test everything within it will come out god is detoxing this morning we are detoxing it is a therapeutic service this morning can i have a witness somebody scream an amen relax 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 you are up too early relax my father said I have 40 minutes. It won't be up to 40 minutes. In 20 minutes, I will be through. Don't worry. I will be through in 20 minutes. Relax. A sinner has denied so many born again believers. A sinner, watch the net. I'm telling you, to grow thereby. And therefore, I look at, you know, uh, Hebrews chapter 5, verse number 13. He builds up another revelation of God's word in there. He said, to everyone that used milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. He didn't say in the word of God. In the word of righteousness. He did not say the word of God. That commodity right to be in right standing with God. We have covered our filth with the tongues and covered our feet with all manner of things. We have a form of godliness and denied the power thereof. We look like Christians. We talk like Christians. We behave like Christians. We sing like Christians, but we are not Christians. I wish I can talk to you. Oh yeah. We have a form of godliness. We are in the choir. We are in the protocol. We are in the production. We are in church. We sing like the believers. We talk like the believers. But we are not. It's getting tensions. It's getting tensions. <laughs> to grow put back the Hebrews chapter 5 an interesting verse he said because he is a baby if you go to verse number 14 the bible makes it but strong meat this word is strong meat 
I think you have been serving God for far too long for us to be still disseminating milk. Oh yeah. You've been in church for 10 years. You've been in church for 20 years. I think milk days are over. It's now time for strong meat. We need to bring strong meat to God's people. Strong meat hurts. Strong meat is strong. It cuts through. It's scintillating. It's belligerent. It's cataclysmic. It's catatonic. It's catastrophic. But they that love God, they take the strong meat and they shall be strong and do exploits. The people that love God in spirit and in truth, they don't joke with strong meat. The strong meat comes like First Timothy, Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 2. Second Timothy 4 and verse 2. He said, preach the word. Preach it. Whether they want to hear it or not, that's not the point. Preach the word. Woman tears and you move it here. We will hear it. You know, preach the word. Be instant. Be instant. Be instant in season and out of season. And every every strong meat within that package will be reproof, rebuke, and exalt. See where you put the exaltation at the tail end. You are blessed. You are favored. He put it at the tail. Then he talked about the reproof from the beginning. You need to watch Job 5, 17 and 18 carefully. I'm telling you, if you are going to be a Christian that will be God's pleasure on earth, this scripture shall not elude you. Job chapter 5, verse number 17 and 18. The Bible said, happy is the man whom God corrected. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. Look at verse number 18. Very interesting revelation. He said, he maketh saw and binded up and wounded and his hands make whole. In the tree Bible, it's even interesting. Osinya mi pra na wasa. Winya me wano peche. Uwea wa chichiri so. I wish our leaders could take that particular scripture extremely serious. That winya mi pra. And chen we tuni na wubi ayase. Oh yeah, I want to tell you that. I want to remind you that winya mi pra. And chen enya God, he makes sure and he binded. Oh yeah, there is judgment of God that is coming upon the face of the earth. Everybody should watch this. And so that we will be careful that they that have accepted Christ Jesus as their Lord and their personal Savior will be careful to maintain good works. Be careful to maintain good works. As I, as I build up my revelation and, uh, you know, I took it. I don't want to forget the two words. Snare and net. Snare and net. Uh, snare. Watch the net. You are a Christian, but watch the net. Watch the snare. There are so many people sitting here, including myself. There is a snare. You me for there is a, a trap set for you and me. I'm not talking about all this superstitious spirituality. Uh -uh. That's not what I'm talking about. There are so many things that are snares. You started very well. You were doing very well. God had posed, you know, all these opportunities before you to lift you, to favor you, to elevate you. You need to be vigilant. Very vigilant. You are pretty, you are beautiful, you are elegant, you are articulate, cognitively accurate, you are great. I mean, you are a career woman, you are doing well, and everybody is praising you. Sweetheart, be vigilant. Be very careful. Watch the snare, watch the snare. Watch the snare. The people are smiling with you, but there is a snare in there. Watch the snare. I wish His Excellency the President can see the snare. All the praises singers, I wish they can. He can see the snare out of the praises. You better watch the snare. Oh, there are so many people that should be with us enjoying life, but they are incarcerated at Insawan prison because a snare was set for them and they couldn't watch. They could. Oh, you want to clap? Clap. I'm telling you, you were going to school, you were doing so well, and this guy came. Hi, baby girl. Hi, babes. Sweet, I want you to understand by now 
The flattery, flattery is not enough for your destiny. We need real stuff. And real stuff, you don't need anybody to tell you how you look, how you are, how you, whatever. You don't need that. By now, you must have your own self-esteem by now so that you will not fall into the trap. There is a snare. And what the Christians don't understand is that even in church, snare is sitting next to you. Yeah. Snare is sitting next to you. Where are you? Snare is sitting next to you. I know people who started very well. If there is no snare, 14 banks cannot collapse in, in, collapse in our nation in, in a year. 14! One could be bearable. Fourteen, because there was a snare. You some banks if you do woman here now. I'm telling you, banks that were bailed out by, by government, the government could bail people out with like fifty-five million, and you know snare. I'm telling you, there is a snare. There is a snare. When I look at this, you know, uh, companies that have gone into all kinds of liquidity. I'm talking about companies that were up in millions and suddenly they are run down. The reason is because some people sat down and planned that this guy, we will bring him down. We will bring him down. Anunswani naho. Now we don't have vigilance. You need now. I like some one one nine verse seven nine. What shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed unto your word? A dear na brantia and a baba wa and a better tena paho and so was shun wusu ye. Shall we see you? Shall we? Shall we? There is a snare set for you. I'm telling you, so many people have backslidden because of the snare. So many people have lost the anointing, anointing because of the snare. A snare was set for them. I know one of our colleagues, he didn't know that cameras were set in a hotel room. He took this church girl into the place. One thing led to another. Seduction, manipulation, deception. Everything was being filmed and they filmed the thing. Now they've quenched this guy just like that. You want to talk? They want to bring the footage out. They are blackmailing him like never before. I will advise you stick with your wife. Stick with your mom, mom, and some more. Stick with your wife. Stick with your wife. And to the ladies, stick with your husband. This guy looking like, hi, the guy is hot. So is hell. Hell is hotter than this guy. Fidia! Fidia jina wenimu in tune. Fidia jina wenim. I know a wife, a wife that told uh, her daughter. When your daddy called, tell, her, tell him I'm not in Ghana. I'm not in America. They live in the state. Tell your daddy when he called, I'm not in America. Unknown to this lady, the gentleman had hacked into her phone. She booked a holiday with her boyfriend. They came to Ghana. The husband knew every transaction came to his phone. Every conversation was recorded. Hey, I never believed that a woman married on the altar can go behind her married husband and go for a hot guy. I want to talk to you. Go for a hot guy. Ubeti. And then, wabe urahi. Ubeti. The wasam kakrama u ubeti. Unti am the best tag By tomorrow morning, you will have a tag. The custom to you. A married woman can turn around and be on the chest 
of another man and come home and behave nothing has happened. Fidie Yesumubi. And and this person, unknown to you, has all kinds of diseases. And you are bringing these diseases to your innocent husband. I tell the young ladies, your husband is amazing. Goes to stand on the scarf, working to get you daily bread. And so And I look at what I'm talking about because there is no fear of God. This generation doesn't fear God. And I'm telling you, you see the one, the scripture we read in the book of Exodus, he was talking about be very careful you don't sign a contract, a memorandum of understanding that with somebody that looks too, 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 too good. I'm telling you, there may be, it may be a snare staring in your face. A snare may be staring in your face, but you don't know it's a snare. Oh yeah. I know a very celebrated gospel musician. Gospel musician. He was driving on this road on La Paz and got a call from another secular musician. He said, I can help you bring your album out, your latest album. He said, okay, no problem. He said, I have 150,000 CDs. Anytime you have it, you can bring it back to me. So do you take the money and do the work? This guy have done the work. They have just outdoored it. One day he had the police at his door. What is it? He said, you have defrauded me 150,000. Really? Snare! Watch the net. Watch the net! It is coming closer. Watch the net. You know, in these last days, we will have to go by Ephesians 5.15. Do not live like fools, but wise. Ridic I'm telling you. So, see! That you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but wise. See then that you walk circum. No, yeah. Let, let's go to the next one, verse number seventeen. The next verse is uh, uh, seventeen. You know, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of God is, because the days in which we are living is evil, evil days. Today, before you go home, I want you to have an introspection introspection and inspection around you. Watch the net. There is a net coming close. You know one of those nets? Anger. Abufu. Anger. Anger is what took 65% of prisoners to all the prisons in Ghana. Anger. Anger. Watch your temper. Watch the net. You are spirit filled. You are anointed. But who are koko boni? Oza haye di. Sane ye sane. Ube di sane ye tini. Watch your temper. This thing here. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 says. Is extremely. Desperately. Wicked. It is a money who can know this. Watch it. A young man I know by the name Buadi. He was a mechanic who worked at Alajo. This guy is just at work one normal day. It was a Friday. Then came this, you know, bodyguard to a minister in government right now. This minister's bodyguard was in a car with his girlfriend. They came to park their car in front of Buadi's workshop. Buadi came out and said, please, if oncoming vehicles are coming, they won't have access. Can you move your car so that we can have oncoming vehicles come and access our service? That was it. This bodyguard got angry, went into the car, pulled the pistol. Just exactly what happened to G-Man many years ago. Anger made him pull the trigger. Pump! Buedi is dead. This guy is serving 21 years imprisonment in Insawim. When he was coming from home, he didn't know that that day he will be in police custody. Watch the snare. Watch the snare. Watch the snare. God has favored you. This is our year of prayer. God is honoring your prayers, but watch the net. Watch the evil net coming close to you. 
Be careful of Kokobonyu. Because my child, there are many women who are not criminals, but they are serving prison sentences because of anger. And we have many people in this building right now, spirit filled, anointed, yet the Koko Haye. Ekunu, Nyami Che will be. What a woman who's so here. God gave you a virtuous woman, but he didn't know how to keep that woman. Now, this is why we can have these young girls who want all the perfumes and creams that can make a tighter, tighter pussies and creamier pussies and smoother pussies because men tears you watch the net. Watch the net. Every wise woman and every wise man knows pussy is pussy. My catch though. There is nothing like creamier, tighter, smoother, all the things. A vanity. Watch the net. I'm telling you. We hear it. We make school fees. Your children's school fees are not paid. You are signing checks for a car. Watch the net. 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 Do you know? Do you know that five minutes pleasure can deny you a whole future? Watch the net. There is a snare. Said for the modern day Christian. Watch it. It's a divine warning. Watch yourself. Evil communication corrupt good manners. I mean if you are in a church like this. And your house is a meeting point against this church. Shall I watch the net too? Speaking. Can you imagine that? Six, 58 years. Our fathers still preaching, still focused with the assignment. Ah, I have friends who didn't even clock 50. I have friends who didn't clock 50. Prophet Maxwell Champon died at 49. Prophet uh, Bishop Ajimambedu, Yao Ajimambedu, died at 49. These two guys died from leukemia, a form of cancer. We are the 56, and you want to speak against them and be free, you better watch the net. And Komobi there is a conversation that will come into your space. The moment you contribute, the heaven closes. Watch the snare. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Don't let's put undue pressure on our husbands. Life in Accra is very hectic. Life in Accra is not easy. With the anointing and the Holy Ghost and everything, it's still not easy. Yeah, life in Accra with the Holy Ghost and everything is still not easy. It's a price every day to pay. So stop putting unnecessary pressure on your husband. Baby, buy this for me. He has bought this for Ajua. Why can't you buy this for me? And Satya, these fingers are not all the same. So stop the undue pressure. Every wise woman must know by now that if your husband is under pressure, you don't add to it. Don't add to your husband's pressure. When your husband is under pressure, that is where you try to relax him. Baby, relax. In God's own time, he, do, he, he makes all things beautiful. You know, and I'm praying with you, and I'm here with you. And I want you to know that everybody can leave, but I am not going anywhere. This is where you need to be wise. This is where you need to be nice. You know, don't talk like a Husbands are scarce. Watch the snare. Your friends are corrupting your mind. All you don't know is that they want your husband. And when we tell you, you go like, oh, Atlanta, we wind a pen up. By the time you will know they are at the altar, do you take this man to be your lawful I say, so for what I do?
わちだすねわちだすね Now you are doing very well. But remember, a day will come you cannot do what you are doing. My biological father is 98. I'm the last born to 11 children. My father still lives with my mother. My mother and my father have been married for over 60 something years. So, if my father had maltreated my mother, this is reciprocal time. Now, me and you in this room, we are met war with your DVR. Therefore, the wife of your youth, do not maltreat them. Oh, yeah. Do not maltreat them. Anybody that lives a promiscuous life is a liar. Because you need to use lies to cover up the mess. I want to say this very quickly. Since you have the strength and can go and come and you are flying here and flying there and all that, watch the snare. You know, I learned something from Nanapia Mensa's issue, something very deep. I was speaking to one of his managers from the Xylophone group and I said to him, Sir, so is there no friend of Nanapia? Who can even say I pay off quarter? You made friends with people who are not ready to at least rescue you. Charlie, you have the wrong friends. It is better not to have friends than to have the wrong ones. Watch the snare. Whilst you're driving that car, And they are admiring, it comes out of a jealous and an envious heart. Well, let me finish by telling you that life is unpredictable and very interesting. And the vicissitudes of life is intriguing. Therefore, whatever comes into your hands today, make sure you don't blow all today. This one, I know, is simple truth. But how many people have the discipline to carry it through? The discipline to carry it through. My friend, the late Bishop Akko Harrison, died at the age of 50. We live in London together with him, but he had stroke at the age of 46. If you see Bishop's picture and how he became before he died, you will cry. Bishop reduced from this size to this size. Abandoned, forsaken, absolutely betrayed. Ministry friends, everybody was gone. I'm telling you. All the hey, 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 my wife keeps telling me. All the people that are hailing you, Covidro, Covidro, at the end of the day, when you come move, it will be left with me and you in this room. We will be together in this room. Therefore, whatever God gives you, please remember there is always tomorrow. So that the day. Oh, that also is a snare. That also is a snare. Watch it. I know Christians who still drink brandy, vodka, whiskey. And when you preach against alcoholism, they go like, stop it, preacher. I drink better and good. I don't do that. Then woman one who are gonna have given it all kinds of crazy names. I don't do that. I do whiskey, brandy, vodka, champagne, da 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 da. Watch the snare. Because very soon, kidney issues, liver issues, heart issues, that snare it bites deep. It bites very deep. A kidney failure 
will swallow all your investments in a year. Because of much them who Oh, but you never seen the other day. Tiana, bitch. I'm telling you. Watch the snare. It bites deep. Especially when they are looking for a transplant. And we are not finding comp compatibility. You have the money, but there is no compatibility. And we are roaming around the world. And you are on standby. And we are looking for a donor. Sometimes you are even looking for, to buy. And it's not coming. I'm telling you, it will swallow your investment in one year. I'm telling you. Watch the snare. There are so many things that are held hazards. Stay away from it. And it's against the word of God. I mean, a born again Christian in a beautiful church like this, you pray, Le Garone Kesa. How can whiskey be doing in your throat and your esophagus? Huh? Look at Psalm 20, verse number 1. Psalm 20. Sorry, Proverbs 20, verse 1. Look at the, what the Bible said concerning alcohol. And I'm telling the youth, before we read this, I'm telling the youth of Ghana, watch the snare. Friends! I had a nephew, young boy, J.H. SHS 1. A guy went to school here in the eastern region. And then they gathered together and said, we want Sakawa money rituals. And they went from the school, jump school wall, went to a malam. And the malam said, okay, the money will come for one and a half years. After one and a half years, all the eight of you will die. But before the money will start, one of you will die. And then they said, we are prepared. The generation of now is an interesting generation. We want money without labor. We want to earn it now. And I'm telling everybody, when you look like my father, when you look at the blessings, the achievements and everything, don't make the mistake as a young minister to think that I need to become like him overnight. It has taken over 40 years of ministry to be able to come to where we are. It has taken over 30 something years of marriage to see what you are seeing. It has taken almost over many years as a Christian in faithfulness in the service of God. You don't expect to just jump and then it happens for you. Go through the process. Go through the process. And the process takes time. 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 Even if you propose to a woman now, she needs time to think about it. Let me check you in my mind and in my heart and in my prayer. Whether you are a man of vision, a man of purpose, whether you know and all that. Because the men that are coming up and the women that are coming up are not marrying based on purpose. Atopa, atopa is what is in there. Atopa. I carry. Upon. Now. This, my nephew, they came back to the school. Their plan is that when the money starts coming, we have finished with school. So, they took an exit because they've told them when the money is coming. Took an exit, went home, and stayed in one friend's ghetto. The next, the day they said the money was going to begin, everybody woke up. My nephew didn't wake up. They took the boy to Ashonman. There is a hospital at Ashonman. Now, they took the boy. They did everything to resuscitate him. He didn't come back. Afunle. He's buried. Somebody will be thinking, why didn't you go and pray for your um, nephew to resurrect him? Really? Romans 6.23 The wages of sin is death. Finish. Jeremiah 2.19 Your sins and iniquity will punish you. Very clear in God's word. Your sins, your wickedness, it will punish you. The 
Seven guys left. The first one decided, I want the wife, I want the mother of our dead friend to be my girlfriend. Hey, the evil in the hearts of people. No. Watch this now. Watch this now. Truly, truly, this guy befriended the dead nephew's mother. Money, 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 money. As I'm speaking to you, all seven boys are dead. Everybody is buried. Hey, he can't survive. Watch the snare. Life is a principle, but there are snares in life. Somebody is telling you to go somewhere. Be careful. Watch, watch your steps. Watch your steps. Life is full of decisions and choices. So I, through Christ Jesus this morning, want to tell you, be careful in Christ and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you before you make a choice. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. Watch the net. Watch the net. Watch the net. It's too close. Too sharp, but very deceptive. Very cunning. It was near Samson. He couldn't see. Vigilance is not there. Watch. How would you put our video? I'm telling you. Many, many people trying to make an impression. I'm a Benoku. Do not fit yourself when evil men flourish. Please, watch the snare that you don't fall into it. Into my heart, into my heart. Your two hands are lifted. My, come into my heart, Lord, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. I want you to commit your life into the hands of the Lord from now, even to the coming month, from now, even to the end of this year. The Lord shall order our steps in his word. This is our year of prayer. We are asking the grace of God to navigate our course. Deliver us from evil. Too many evil nets. But deliver us. Watch the net, watch the net. Be vigilant. Jesus said, I send you a sheep among wolves. Be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Into my heart, into my heart. Let me hear you sing. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in. to fill us and anoint us. The Bible says that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. We want the Spirit of God to fill us to the brim and give us guidance. Guide us, Lord. Guide our feet like a deer's feet and make us walk on our high places. In the name of Jesus, come on, lift your voice like trumpet. And we are asking the grace of God and the mercies of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Come on. Spirit of 
God, fill us and lead us. Show us the way. Show us the way. Don't let the last of the eyes, the last of the flesh, the pride of life, don't let it take dominance of our heart. May we be led by you. Show us the way. Do us good. In Jesus' precious name.